I still have a back catalog built up here of White Sox players that I gotta debut, preferably before the season ends. So today comes the debut of the next most overdue debut that we have. And it's season three team affinity reward, Paul Konerko. Paulie is like one of my favorite players of all time. He was my favorite player when I was first getting into baseball. So it's always fun to get good Paul Konerko cards. But I gotta be honest, a little underwhelmed by this one. I don't know how much of that has to do with the card itself or just the fact that we have one too many first basemen, which is always the case. Actually, normally we have two too many first basemen. It's just this year that we actually get a DH. So we can at least get two of the three between Frank, Pauly, and Abreu. But I think of the three right now, Pauly, Abreu, and Frank, Konerko is probably the worst because like his hitting is about on par with Abreu. Because, you know, you got to factor in the fact I have Abreu to parallel three. So knock three off of everything. But then Abreu has the fielding. But then Pauly and Frank have similar levels of fielding. But obviously Frank's got the better bat. The one thing that's really good about Konerko is since he has the high power and the contacts lower, our current boost with Tim Anderson evens him out a bit. So he's up to 115 contact 104 against lefties. And just for his debut, we got to have him in the field. I know we're way better off having Abreu at first and then Konerko DHing, but it's the debut. We got to throw him in there. It also probably doesn't bode that well that the rest of this theme team is still all set two cards and we only have about a week left of season three where set two cards can be used. We still have some cards to debut, but I don't know, man, this team moving into season four, losing all the set two cards is going to look interesting. I don't know. We've still got a ways to go before that happens, before we even need to worry about that. So for now, let's just focus on giving Paulie the debut he deserves. So as always, guys, if you enjoy this one, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We've got Kopech on the mound, who I keep forgetting is a set two card. So I guess this technically could be like one of his last starts, maybe even his last start. I don't like the thought of that. Everything's gonna suck moving into season four. I did kind of let the rating window get a little bit high but this dude didn't seem like he had a record that was either way good or way bad, so he might just be around my rating anyway. There we go, hung a curve. Anytime you have a hanging curve though, you wanna get under it and do some damage, but we'll take it, a leadoff base hit. Let's see if we can get Burger on instead of just having him clear the bases for Polly up next. Ah, uh, Burger, what did I just say? Oh wait, it's off the wall. Okay, no, that works out good then. We have second and third. Nobody out for debuting Paul Konerko. He can do some damage here. He just brought the defense in. What do you think I'm gonna do, Bunt? With Paul Konerko? No, I'm just gonna go perfect, perfect to the gap. I can't stretch it for two. That's just a two-run single, but look at Paulie getting the job done. Now he's, oh man, that's gonna be it. Okay, that shouldn't have been a double play, but really slide-stepping with Konerko on first? What kind of player do you think he is? Bringing in the defense for the bunt and then slide-stepping to negate the steal? Baines? Lefty-lefty? I don't think he got enough of that. Nope. All right, I mean, even both swings that made outs were pretty decent swings, but I'll take two to start it out. Baines isn't going to get there. Oh man, once we get that 97 Baines in, he might have just that little bit better reaction to get to a ball like that. There we go. Curveball gets him out in front of it. He's trying to toy with me on first, but all he's doing is taking a lead and then going right back. See, now he's not going back, so does that just mean he's taking off? No, it doesn't, but we'll get the pop-up. Works for me. There we go, and he picked the right pitch to do it on two. There we go, out in front of that change. Perfect spot, good first inning from Kopech. There we go, good way to start out the second inning, and he dove for it. Even better. Oh, and he's gone. 
I just happened to be pressing X right when he dashboarded. Alright, well man, with me talking about how that might have been one of Kopech's last starts, I guess it's the same thing for Lance Lynn now. Because I'm definitely going to have to use the wild card on Grandal because we don't have any other catchers. But man, that kind of sucks. I didn't even think about that one either because Lynn is not only the first parallel 5 that I got, He's also the first time I was the first one to parallel five a card, and he's still the only parallel five I have in this game. I have not faced this Hilton Smith, and then I get hit with a 72 mile per hour change right away, followed by a 93 sinker. Okay, this is gonna be fun. And he throws 101. That's a 30 mile per hour difference between the fastball and change. I think I was late. That was the most hittable pitch, and I was late and under. No, the timing was fine. I was just under. Ah, oh, man, I was on it. Under the sinker low. We don't have anybody on this time for Paulie. He'll just have to do it himself. Ah, okay. He's not going to do the whole job himself, but he'll get himself on base again. Nice two for two so far in the episode. Got that... That fastball is way faster than it looks right now. Or it looks way faster than it is, I guess I should say. You know, it's funny, me talking about how Lin is the only one that I've gotten to Parallel 5. But if you combine all the Parallel XP I have with him on this account, plus all the Parallel XP I have with him over on Pack Attack, I'd have enough to have him to Parallel 5 twice. And we'll take that. I want the punch out with two strikes, but weak fly ball, same result. Ooh, I don't like that. All right, nice. He went chasing on 3-2 for that sinker away. There we go. I knew that would jam him. He was probably looking for it. Scoreless first for both of us. I don't know. I can't tell if this is either going to be a pitcher's duel or if we're both going to start hitting, but I feel like this guy is pretty good one way or another. I guess at this stadium, chances are we're both going to start hitting. Oh, but not yet. Bane's getting tied up. That is a another really nice pitch. There we go. Perfect on the fastball. That's what I needed to do, and that's getting all the way to the wall. All right, Mini with a double. Grandal down the line, but Mini was diving back. I'm still going to try and score with him. Oh, yeah, he's in there easy. And Grandal's in with a double. Back-to-back -back doubles. Now we have a lead in this game, too. <laughs> I guess I'm just looking at it that time. All right. Okay, wow. Fair play to time that one up. This dude just does not strike out. Fouled off pitch after pitch, and then I guess I gave him one he liked. Tried the old Giolito high circle change away. That's not... Oh, th this is going to be a long game. I can already tell. 27 pitches in. Not even an out in the second. He's fouling off pitch after pitch and then taking anything close. And then he gets a hit. Oh, man, I would have rather a foul ball. Okay, we'll take it. One pitch out. That's good. That's big. Ah, we're not going to... Oh, I made a yellow throw, though. Oh, Polly, How did I do that? I don't even remember. Was the meter moved? Is that what threw me off? Oh, guys, I don't know. This is going to be a rough one. Lynn is not going to make it past, like, the fifth. Even if he pitches well, the pitch count's going to come back to get him. And it, it's not even going to be because of the pitch count. I mean, he is just not really off on anything. Anything I throw, he's on enough to at least do something, and now he's just hitting it out. Does it not seem like every single time we get an early quit with the White Sox theme team, the second game we just come out and get blown out? There we go. Finally, something that tripped him up here. And I barely got there. Burger, buddy. All right. Okay, I was not expecting a punch out there. 49 pitches to give up five runs through two. Five runs in the second. 
I mean, I would have liked a little help from the game on a swing like that at this stadium. Normally, I wouldn't be sitting here thinking that kind of swing should leave, but here, with 114 power, I think it could have had enough. That one's not going to go either. This is the same thing. God, yeah, that, I mean... You throw back-to-back 70-mile-per-hour -back pitches and then go with that, it's going to sit me down every time. Oh, Montgomery. Diamond defense. Okay. I'm fine with him hitting it hard if he starts hitting it to me. Oh my God. That, that just had to end up as far outside of the par as it could. It's going to be an out, but man, really, we get him to 0-2. He fouls off two pitches in a row and then puts it in play. All right, we got him to pop it up again, though, so nothing here in the third for him. I don't know how much more Lynn's got, but he might be able to give us one more inning. And that one's gone. So the, the one with Robert, the one with Berger... Not good enough, but the one that I get even further under and am late on, no doubter. I'd rather that than nothing, though, at least. All right, Mini Minoso is having an episode here. I think he had a double in that first game and now a double and a base hit in this one. That has to leave. No, don't stay in play. I was having such a good at bat. He actually got that one also. Oh my god. I thought I was starting to put something together this inning, and then we just have two foul outs. I mean, we got one back. If Lynn can give us one more scoreless inning, and then if the bullpen can work some kind of miracle, I don't know. You never know. And there we go. There's another out. There's another one. And then we got him jammed on the cutter. All right, that was not only a 1-2-3, but a quick 1-2-3. I might go a fifth inning with Lynn. I mean, hey, we're just a couple of swings away from being right back in this game. Please land. All right, Montgomery with the leadoff base hit. Could have been a walk if I took it. Either way, we got a runner on first. Oh, I was ready for that, and I was still late. Look at how perfect that pitch was. Get through. That hat, no. Stop it right now. Okay, at least it's not two, but... Oh, he's running down balls and right in foul territory. He's making super dives. No, I didn't want to swing, but I committed. And there's another rollover. Man, I don't know. Was was that second inning more a fluke than anything? Another bad swing. More weak contact. That's the second out of the fifth. Oh, and there he goes. Not the hardest hit ball, but gets himself on here with two outs. Prolongs the inning. That's got to be made. Minoso's there, and we did get through a fifth with Lynn. That turned into a relatively solid start. Oh, there we go. Abreu with his second homer. That one feels more earned. Now we're within two. Oh, no, I hit that so hard. 107. Oh, the closer we get in score, the more those are going to bug me. What kind of carry does that have? He's going to have to try and rob it, and he didn't. We're within one. That was definitely a product of this stadium, but we'll take what we can get. That might be it for Hilton Smith. It is. He's going to Rivera. In the end, his starter only lasted two more outs than mine. Oh, and that one's going to go right to first. All right, we're within one. Now it's just a matter of if our bullpen can hold strong. Two lefties coming up this inning, so I'm going to go to Crochet. That's going to stay in. I don't like that he hit that as well as he did, but that's an out. Oh, that almost got him 103 up at the chest. Oh, get out of here with that one. Come on. 
he doesn't have to foul off every pitch he swings at. This feels like MLB 22. There we go, finally. Oh, he wants to start seeing Crochet now when he already had two strikes in the count with two outs? Come on. Come on, Burger. All right, I was expecting that to bounce off his glove, but we got out of the inning. That might be the only one for Crochet. He was down into the yellow, but it was a good one. Montgomery, that's going to get to the gap. That's a leadoff double. That is a huge swing. No, I tried to check. Oh, that... Okay, it's not going to get Burger on, and it moves him over to third, a batter too late. We still need a hit to get him across. Paulie, he hit that so hard also. I was early, sure, but one of these hard hit balls on the ground can find a spot to get through. Okay, he's leading off Bellinger. I'll leave Crochet in one more batter. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me. It came back to bite me. I mean, really, though, with all my hard hit grounders, he hits one like that and it gets through. That's just, that's how it goes. That's how it always goes. That is an instant double play after Santos gets brought in. All right. It's uh, almost getting to the point where I'm like kind of scared to pitch with Gregory Santos because uh, I've pitched about 20 to 25 innings with him so far and he has not given up an earned run. And whenever I go on streaks like that, I just get more and more scared to use the guy because I don't want to break the streak. But he gets us through the seventh there. Abreu's already got two bombs. One more would tie the game. Looks like he's going to leave Rivera in for another one. And I tried to check swing and it just lets it fly again. I What's the secret? Wow, I usually can hit Rivera, but he is shutting me down today. He might go all the way through to the end of this game if I let him. And I am going to let him because I'm not even putting up a fight. Two first pitch outs and a three pitch strikeout. <sighs> yeah, all right. It's, it's going to be time to get Santos out of here because he is seeing him now. Yep, he's done. <laughs> we'll take the out right to Luis Robert, but that's the day for Santos. Let's see if Goose can come in and keep things where they are. Ooh, dotted with that fastball. All right. And then we get a one-pitch grounder to Jackie, so that is through eight. This is it. We have to score here in the ninth to keep this game alive. Seven, eight, nine coming up, but it's definitely not a weak spot. And he is actually going to go to a new arm. He is. He's going to Chapman. All right. I was fully prepared for him to just mow me down again with Rivera. But we got a chance. Oh, yeah. We got a chance. Grandal with a perfect to start. Oh, no way. Oh. I think there was part of me that thought he wasn't going to go back to something fast after a perfect, so I was just that little bit late. That could have almost easily been a two-run shot. Oh, that's a two-run shot! Oh my god, Colson Montgomery, lefty lefty, just took the lead. He brings in a roll this Chapman, gives up two perfect swings, and now we have the lead. And he's immediately going to another new arm. If he would have just brought in Kenley, this game probably would have been over. There we go, we needed that from Berger. One more at bat from Paul Konerko now by him getting on base, and man, that really got all the way to the wall. Base hit could score him, actually. Oh, and I'm under it. So close to being on that one, but Paulie's not going to be able to give us any insurance. Let's see if we can win this thing. He hasn't scored since the second inning, but that doesn't mean he can't score now. I'm going to stick with Goose. You got to imagine he's more locked in right now than he has been this whole game, including that second inning. Behind the heat, okay. And then we got him with the change. Perfect. Oh, no way. Goose just made that play. One more. Two change-ups way out in front. Do I triple up or do I go heat up? I'm going to triple up. 
Oh, he did swing, but he made contact. All right, let's go way up above the zone. See if we can get a chase. No, okay. Right back to this then. And it got him. What a win. I was resigned to losing that game after giving up five in the second and Lynn was like 70 pitches in. I was like, oh, there's no way that our bullpen's going to cover enough innings that we're going to keep him at five and that I'm going to score enough runs to make the comeback. But that is exactly what did happen. That could be the best overall win with the White Sox theme team. We still have, like I said at the beginning, a back catalog of White Sox players to debut, and they added one more with Yoan Mankata from that event. But now with a couple wins there, we're also opening the door for some sort of World Series push. Maybe we see another White Sox theme team World Series game? I don't know. You'll just have to stay tuned. So make sure, guys, if you enjoyed this one, hit that like button, subscribe, to the channel if you haven't already but that does it for this one today thanks for watching guys thanks for stopping by and i will see you next time